Good morning, my sister and brother, Bertha. We're here. Hey, good morning. I said good morning already. And happy preparation day. It's the day before the Sabbath. So my, right now, my sister and brother, I decided to do my video early today because there is a storm here. There is a storm. And right now, I'm not able to get on my computer. I don't know. Something's going on with the internet as well. So nevertheless... But before we get started, let me do some emergency announcement for those of us that's in up here in the Fresno County, up in the mountain. So all buses are canceled today. Some people was not aware of that. So all buses are canceled. And if you are going if you're going down to Sand Creek area, the Sand Creek area, you know what I'm talking about, that street, do not go that way because um that bridge might be overflowed with water. So go take the 180 and then go over to Hills Valley and then maybe take America Road to take you where you need to go, whether you're going to Fresno or you're going to Visalia. But uh, do not go down Sand Creek right now. So just take some, you know, look in the, uh, in the group. There is an emergency group as well and also the regular group and I believe both of them are having um, have messages or posts in there to give you heads up of what's going on. Okay, so that is that emergency announcement. Okay, and what's another one? So go, like I said, go to the um, group and look on there and see there's some other road that's closed. And I am not, um, I know where the area is, but I don't remember the street. So just go on the group and you will find that information. So with that, that is the special announcement this morning. And so let us go ahead and I say good morning already. A smile to start your day, a prayer to bless your way, a song to lighten your burden, a hug to wish you a good day. And it stayed here, a good day. So we want to have a good day regardless of what's going on, my sister and brother. There's so much going on up here. So with that, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. So, Father God, as this rain is pouring right now, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to allow that rain to pour into our heart. Wash us and make us whiter than snow, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so we are in, let me do the scripture. The scripture is Ephesians 5. Or was it 6? Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, verses 15 and 16. Ephesians 5, verses 15 and 16. See then that ye walk circumspectly, meaning prudent, meaning, it says here, careful to consider all circumstances and possible consequences. That's what circumspectly means. So, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the evil, because the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Would you agree, my sister and brother? Would you agree? May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So, let's get into our topic. And we are in... How to redeem the time. How to redeem the time. And it stayed here. Father God, as we go into this lesson, how to redeem the time, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to give us a lesson that we can use today. We thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You guys can hear the rain. Mm. It says, the value of time is beyond computation. Christ regarded every moment as precious, and it is thus that we should regard it. Life is too short to be trifled away, meaning to play with. Life is too short to be trifled away. We have but a few days of probation in which to prepare for eternity. We have but a few days of probation in which to prepare for eternity. We have no time to waste, no time to devote to selfish pleasure, no time for indulgent of sin. 
It is now that we are to form character for the future, a mortal life. It is now that we are to prepare for the searching judgment. Remember, we are in the judgment hour. It also brought out that we are on probation, my sister and brother, and the clock is ticking and we are just about running out of time. The human family have scarcely begun to live when they begin to die. Mm. The, fa the human family have scarcely begun to live when they begin to die. And the world necessitates meaning ceaseless labor ends in nothing less unless a true knowledge in regards to eternal life is gained. Let me repeat that. The human family has scarcely begun to live when they begin to die. And the world is incessant, incessant meaning ceaseless labor, ending in nothingness unless a true knowledge in regards to eternal life is granted. The people who appreciate time as day working days would fit themselves for a mansion and for a life that is immortal. Let me repeat that. The people who appreciate time as their working days will fit themselves for a mission and for a life that is immortal. It is well that they were born. It is well that they were born. We are admonished to redeem the time, but the time squandered can never be recovered. We cannot call back even one moment. The only way in which we can redeem our time is by making the most of that which remains, by being co-workers with God in the great plan of redemption. In those whom do this, a transformation of character takes place. They become sons and daughters of God, members of the royal family, children of the heavenly king. They are fitted to be a company. Let me comment. They are fitted for companion. They are fitted to come to be companion of angels. They are fitted to be companions of angels. Now is our time to labor for the salvation of other others. Now is the time to labor for the salvation of others. There are some who think that if they give money to the cause of Christ, this is all they are required to do. The precious time in which they might do personal service for him passes on in proof. Ooh, let me repeat that. There are some who think, mm, think about it. There are some who think that if they give money to the cause of Christ, this is all they are required to do. The precious time in which they might do personal service for him passes on in proof. But it is the privilege and duty of all who have health and strength to render to God active service. But it is the privilege and duty of all who have health and strength to render to God active service. All are to labor in winning souls to Christ. Donations of money cannot take the place of this. Donations of money cannot take the place of this. The, the opportunity that is now ours to speak to some needed soul, the word of life may never offer again. The opportunity that is now ours to speak to some needed soul, the word of life may never offer again. God may say to that one, This night thy soul shall be required of thee, and through our neglect, he or she may not be ready. Then you could also look, read on Luke chapter 20. I'm sorry, Luke chapter 12, verses 20. Luke chapter 12, verses 20. Let me repeat that. This night thy soul shall be required of thee, 
and through our neglect, he or she may not be ready. So read Luke 20. I'm sorry, again, I just said that. Luke chapter 12, Luke chapter 12, verses 20. In the great judgment day, how shall we render our account to God? In the great judgment day, how shall we render our account to God? So we are in the judgment hour. And they say that the judgment begins in the household of God. So if we are stating that we are Christian, so the Christian will be judged first, my sister, brother. So you need to be aware. So don't be using that Christian word lightly. And you still have a cigarette in your hand, a drink in your hand, and then sleeping around or whatever else you are doing, right? So the great judgment day, in the great judgment day, how shall we render our account? To God. So we are in the judgment hour, my sister, my brother. So we need to be ready and stop squandering our time. And like I said, because remember, this whole month of March, we are talking about investing time and other talents. So this is one of the um, talents or the time that we need to think about. Look at my day or look at what you have done thus far this morning and see, have I squandered my time? Go was it? I said, because I, my, my, um, I don't have my granddaughter today. So I said, well, you know what? Maybe I should sleep in a little bit longer. And I, I did, I think about, for about like, for like maybe about an hour. So then I said, I should go and back, and I should go back and sleep. Then it's like, mm, no, because I've got so much stuff to do. And even though I don't have my grandbaby, I still got work to do. So why would I lay in bed? And then I remember the topic we talked about yesterday. So there's no way I was going to do that. And besides, since it's preparation day, this is the time that I do not, I, I try, I'm not sure, I, not, I don't like the word try. I work not to waste my time because there's so much sometimes I uh, things comes come th things happen that I did not plan for and so on Friday I usually I wake up on on time or sometime earlier just in case I make room for things that might it might be out of my norm and so of course like I talk about the weather just now is out of my norm with all the different things, you got to go check this and check that. So, you know, so I decided that I just need to get to work. So I got up and, and went to work. And so we have to be mindful. Like I said, look at your day and see what time that you have wasted. Maybe you're on the phone gossiping. Hmm. That's not very, that's not a very wise thing to do, right? Uh, maybe, you know, I don't know what you've done. Maybe you just sat there and watched, watched the news. Maybe you just sat there and watched you know, some soap or whatever it is. But you, most people know when they're squandering time. They said the only way in which we can redeem our time, remember the topic is how to redeem the time. So this is the answer. The only way in which we can redeem our time is by making the most of that which remains. So we know for us right now is over, it's about it's 934 here, right? So look at, no, where you are might be might be after 12, right? But look at what you have done thus far in the morning and have you wasted your time? So if, if you have, it goes on to state. If you have, the only which in which the only way in which we can redeem our time is by making the most of that which remains. By being co-workers with God in his great plan of redemption. Okay? It says, in those who do this, a transformation of character take place. Mm, how to redeem the time. So with that, my sister and brother, let us go ahead and close with prayer. Now, this is not the one. This is the one here. And say, so said, it's another day. So here is our prayer. It says, uh, dear God, on this day, I give you thanks for all the love and the blessings you have given me. My loving family, my caring friends, and the wonderful people I met in my life's journey. Lord, please continue to bless, protect, and guide them to overcome their challenges in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for this message, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We just continue to thank you. So, Father God, thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering. Through the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. What else is there to say? Nothing else, nothing else. It stayed here. I give you thanks for all the love and the blessings you have given me. Mm. My loving family, my caring friends, and all the wonderful people I met in my life's journey. Lord, please continue to bless, to protect, to guide them to overcome their challenges in life. In the name, in Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. The wonderful said. So my sister and brother, this is Birdell Warrior. Find me at birdellwarrior.com. Follow me over YouTube on the Birdell Warrior. Uh, while you're there, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so when my videos goes up, you'll be the first to be notified. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. But before you go, let us do the four hugs for survival. Four, four, four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I love you, my sister and brother. I love you. I appreciate you. So let's continue to pray for um, uh, in the, us that's in the mountain region, Fresno County. There's a lot of stuff going on. So let's continue to pray and lift one another up. And it doesn't matter what you're going through, my sister and brother. God is more than able to answer our prayer. So with that, I love you. I appreciate you. And those of you that's already celebrating the Sabbath, we talked about the Bible Sabbath, my sister and brother. We talk about Exodus 20, verses 8 through 11. God said, remember the Sabbath day. And the Sabbath day had always, always is Saturday. It was never Sunday. So you can go to my uncle Google and Google who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. And that's the system, the system. I'm not talking about the people. God got, God got people in all these different churches. And what he's doing, Revelation 14, verses 6, I think to 12, he's calling them out of Babylon. It's a false system under his banner. Okay, under his banner. And those of us that's going to be going to heaven will be celebrating from uh, Sabbath from this point until eternity, my sister and brother. God, that is the day that God set aside. It's Saturday and it's never Sunday. And when you think about it, my sister and brother, when it becomes law, when it becomes law, that we were forced to be going to church on Sunday, when it becomes law, it's not law yet then Sunday will be the mark of the beast because you gave in to the beast system and you decided to disobey God and you decided to follow man and Satan. So just be mindful of that. I know people have all these different things, what the mark of the beast is, but according to Revelation, it's not, it's not that at all. It's by us being, uh, people being disobedient to God, rejecting the fourth commandments. Most churches keep nine, but they forget the fourth and God says, remember, my goodness, God knew that it was going to come a time that man would put aside his day and come up with a new day. And men are worshiping on Sunday and putting all this stuff on Sunday. We should just rest on Sunday. Sunday is the Lord. No, that's not the day that God gave us. It's Saturday, my sister or brother. So he always said, when you see the world going to this direction, Christians should be going the opposite direction. That's how you can tell. If they're doing this, then you need to be doing the opposite, my sister and brother. So with that, study for yourself. Don't even take my word for it. Study for yourself. And if you want more information about the Sabbath, you can go to Sabbath.org and you find a wealth of information there. Or you can also go to SabbathTruth.org. There's a wealth of information there about the Sabbath, my sister and brother. Because you need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt why you believe what you believe. And don't let no one guide you in the wrong direction. And, and you don't go and ask your pastor. Talk to the Lord about it. Lord, what day did you set aside? Ask the Lord, not your pastor. If he knew, why is he doing it on Sunday? Why? Is it for the money? Mm. Is it because he wants to remain popular? Mm. Why? Why disobey God? Why is your pastor disobeying God by going to church and doing church on Sunday? When most, because I knew some, they knew what day it was, what day is the Sabbath. But for whatever custom, they decided to disobey God. And I pray that they 
will make a decision and come and, and return return to the Lord. Because we must, my sister and brother, keep all of the commandments of God in order to be able to make it into heaven. And it's not by our power, but by the power of the Lord. Let us continue to serve him diligently. And so he will be the one that get all the praise, the honor, and glory. And with that, my sister and brother, you know, I could stay here for a long time. With that, I love you. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. As the rain is pouring out there, I just pray that the Lord will pour that rain into your heart and just, just melt you and wash all your sins and wash all our sins away. With that, my sister and brother, way the the water just overflow your cup. May God overflow your cup with his abundance today. And whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, stay close to the Lord, my sister and brother. With that, I love you. appreciate you. Until Monday, be blessed and take care.